Well, uh, Marcus, last night you, uh, you you almost really challenged the playoff committee, put us in, and we weren't disappointed. And, uh, you know, now, now you guys got to go kind of back up your words a little bit. Yeah, I saw you mark that down. I was like, ah, dang it. <laughs> that one might have came off too strong. But, um, I mean, I guess that's the mentality we have here at U and I. And, um, yeah, I, we're just happy to be in and happy to play at the in the Dome. And it really feels like a new season. Um, it really feels like everything else doesn't matter what happened up to this point. Now you just wake up and... It's, you know, you go at it, you don't think about how long the season's been, you don't think about anything else. You're just like, all right, we got another week, and we get to be here with our teammates practicing in the Dome and um, playing in the Dome this Saturday, and I'm um, just really thankful to have that opportunity. Were you guys as players surprised to be playing at home this week? Um, not really. Uh, I, I guess in the past we've gotten that home game um, when we make it in. Um, so we're used to getting that. Um, I know we fight pretty hard to have that home uh, playoff game, that first one. So, um, I mean, we just wanted to make it in, but I th we didn't, we weren't really sure about anything with that. Now that you're in, Marcus, you can tell us just how nervous you may have been uh, when the show got started, kind of like Coach was saying, when Incarnate Word popped up there on the screen. What were your feelings? Yeah, I was... We all were feeling pretty good last night um, after, you know, a good win and a lot of things happened that needed to happen across the country. Um, even this morning, seeing a lot of predictions, everything, a lot of people had us in. And then when the show started and the whole first half of the bracket came out, uh, I was pretty nervous. Um, yeah, definitely seeing a couple teams go in that I thought were on the bubble, knowing that that means those are more yeah it was nerve wracking <laughs> but uh i at the end of the day we all knew it you know with a win like that against missouri state um to finish off you know if that was our last game and we could walk away with our heads held high that was a good game to go out on um so we were prepared you know either way but we were super happy to make it in does a big group you guys get together or are you all kind of watching it on your own or? yeah we all um a couple of a lot of us just watch it with our roommates and whatnot, and um, yeah, because we didn't really know how it was gonna go down, and uh, some of the guys wanted to just watch, watch it by themselves and you know take it in by themselves, but you know everyone, once we all found out, then we all got together and we we're really pumped. When you saw your name, was there a lot of hooting and hollering, or I mean, it was more just relief, really, um, for me. I know, I was just. I was just happy to, you know, it's just a big weight off your shoulders. So, you know, when you come to you and I, you want to make the playoffs. And as a senior, you feel like it's your duty to um, lead the team into the playoffs and to know that our team year is going up on the playoff wall uh, means a lot. So, I mean, it was a relief for me to know that all the hard work that seniors have put in over the years that us as a class can have something to show for. What's it going to take through this week of practice, preparation for the playoffs, uh, to get closer to that? You know, that where you obviously want to be when you talk about the offense could have done more. Yeah, um, I think a lot of it is probably the mentality. It depends how much of our team really comes back and says like this is a new season, and you know, just with excitement and energy. I think if you approach the games with a, the right attitude and the right mentality. You know, physically you're going to get beat up and the season gets long and you're playing top teams, top 24 teams in the country. So physically you're going to match up. It's all it depends on who has the right mentality. And I think that's where we can keep excelling on offense. Um, the players are there. The plays are there. It's, you know, if we really believe that we can go out and make really big plays and um, phenomenal performances, then that's what's going to happen rather than just, you know, relying on someone else to do the job. For your seniors, and I asked Barty the same thing about the past playoff experience. How much does it help you that you've been in the playoffs and down this road before? Yeah, it helps a lot um, being here throughout various roles, um, being here as a red shirt and having the team in the playoffs. Um, so you can kind of 
tell the red shirts what to expect and then you know just getting used to not going home on thanksgiving break uh, i like that <laughs> i like staying here and being with my teammates and playing football um you know it's it is a really good experience because you know you know what to expect it really isn't any different of a week um you know you have to prepare just the same and i think uh, that playoff experience really helps and i think um, the guys on this team have had critical roles in the playoff teams that we've had and we've seen other teams what they've gone through and so you we know as a team that anything can happen um, the field's wide open so we just got to take it day by day you gonna get a thanksgiving meal this week is mom gonna drive something down or uh, I'm not sure. Uh, in the past, we always eat with the coaches, usually at the, their houses for the guys that don't go home. Um, we'll probably get that afternoon off um, for guys that live close by to go home. But I'll probably stay down here um, and go to one of the coaches' house. Uh, they usually have us over. So I'm sure we'll get a home-cooked meal. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah.